Hi, my name is Courtney, and I'm currently a biology secondary education major studying at the College of New Jersey. I made some pretty good friends here and made a lot of great memories, too. This is my boyfriend, John. We've been together since high school for two years now, and he's my best friend. He goes to Lincoln Tech, and I miss him a lot, but I know it'll all be worth it. This is my best friend from home, Eusebia, and she's my rock. I'm an only child, and my parents are divorced, so whenever I am home, I live with my mom. I'm still pretty close with my dad, though, too. This is me, my dad, and his girlfriend, Debbie. We're pretty into Halloween. Now to travel back in time. I was born December 28, 1994, always surrounded by loving family. My family might have been small, but we are pretty close. This is me and my parents. We are a pretty happy family back in the day, and I was a happy kid. I was always surrounded by animals, every shape and every size. It might have been tough being an only child, but I think I found a way to cope. I was always dancing, ever since I was pretty little to when I got pretty big. I really did have a great childhood. Then things started to go downhill. I lost both my grandparents on both sides. It was pretty tough. I went from having a happy family to having my world torn apart. I would always stay daddy's little girl though. Even though it was tough, I always found a way to celebrate. I realized that I'd always have my family to support me, friends to lean on, and that I would always find happiness in everything that I did. My childhood may have had its ups and downs, but my adolescence was a whole other story. My parents got divorced when I was 10 years old, and moving into a new house with my mom had its challenges, but I managed to make some great friends and had a lot of fun doing it. Middle school was all right. I even had my fair share of an awkward phase. High school wasn't bad either. I really did have a lot of great friends. And even though I lost a few, I gained a few too. High school was great. I made a lot of great memories, had a lot of great experiences, and somehow came out alive. Having a single working mother during my adolescence wasn't easy. I was forced to find my independence very early and often found myself home alone. Whenever I was lonely, I would always turn to movies. My mother instilled at me, at a very early age, a love of movies, and it wasn't uncommon to find me curled up in a chair watching my favorite movies. They've just always been a huge part of my life. In an interview conducted with my mom, she revealed how she found her love of movies and how she thinks that this impacted my adolescent development. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. So, uh, how did you first find your love of movies? I would have to say it was back in the early 70s when my mother, your nanny, got a job at the drive-in theater as a manager. They had a, we were there in the summertime and they had a summer full of Disney movies and we just fell in love with it and then I got a job there and that's where my love came and as you can see, <laughs> we've got plenty of movies. And it was just a favorite pastime, and you started enjoying it with me. And I think that's where your love of music came from, too, because we used to sing all the songs. So, how do you think your love of movies impacted my adolescent development? Well, I think you can learn a lot from movies. There's good, there's bad, there's evil, there's, there's you know, you learn what's right and what's wrong, and what consequences are if you do wrong, and then what good there is because there can be a happy ending for everybody. Speaking of learning right from wrong, the movie The Green Mile had a huge impact on my cognitive development. It helped me transition 
from Formal Operations into Post-Formal Thinking. In the following clip, Tom Hanks must execute an innocent man. This made me realize that some outcomes are not always right and wrong and that you can't always use logic. May God have mercy on your soul. Another movie that aided in my adolescent development was Forrest Gump. This movie taught me a lot about my American culture and heritage and also helped me develop ideas about my own religion. In the following clip, Tom Hanks must say goodbye to the love of his life and the mother of his child. He also brings up a lot of questions about destiny and the meaning of life. I don't know if Mama was right or if, it, if it's Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if we each have a destiny or if we're all just floating around accidental like on a breeze. But I, I think maybe it's both. Maybe both is happening at the same time. I miss you, Jenny. The movie that had the greatest influence on my ideas of gender as an adolescent was Aaron Brockovich. In this movie, Julia Roberts plays a strong-willed mother of three who single-handedly brings justice to families affected by water contamination. In the following clip, she demonstrates a fierce attitude and stands up for what she believes in. I knew from a young age that this was the kind of woman I wanted to be. Counselors? Counselors? Let's be honest here. $20 million is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. Oh, see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we have more than 400 plaintiffs in. Let's be honest, we all know there are more out there. They may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't you split it between them. Aaron. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame-ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. 
or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. Came from Well and Hinkley. <clears throat> I think this meeting is over. Damn right it is. Finally, the movie that has had the greatest influence on my ideas and my own biological foundations is Frankenstein. My father not only passed down to me a love of Halloween, but of science as well, so I've been watching this movie probably since I was three years old. In the following clip, we see Dr. Frankenstein pushing the limits of science to create human life, and this sparked my own interest in human anatomy and biology as a whole. from a very early age that I wanted to be a teacher. My love of science, developed from both my father and film, led me to want to be a biology teacher. I hope to one day inspire my students to love the sciences as much as I do, and I hope that studying biology education at the College of New Jersey can help me to achieve this dream. <laughs>